Thank you so much, Amal and George, for having me. Nadia Murad survived the unthinkable. On August 3rd, 2014, she was living a good life with her family in the Sinjar region of Iraq. That day, ISIS arrived. They killed her brothers, cousins, and other friends and family. They murdered her mother. They kidnapped her and the other women and children and forced her into sexual slavery. Then one day, she found a way to escape. She became a refugee and made it her goal to fight back, to thrive, and to try to make her story the last one where sexual violence is used against women and girls. She started Nadia's initiative, traveled the world sharing her stories and the importance of justice for the Yazidi people. And in 2018, she was a co-recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. She also helped lead the charge to see a member of ISIS convicted for the first time for genocide. She's powerful, she's brilliant, she's my friend, Nadia, the ultimate survivor. Please join me in welcoming the fearless Nadia Murad. In 2005, Gabriel Storning traveled to the border of Chad and the Darfur region in Sudan. He was drawn there because of the unfolding genocide. His goal was to collect stories and share them with the world. He expected it to be his only trip, but what he heard, witnessed, and the constant desire for justice changed him. That trip transformed into his life's work. For years, he built connections with refugees and humanitarian organizations to help people heal, fill the gaps, and share their stories. In 2007, he met KDJ Scott, who came to work for the growing organization. They formalized IACT's work in early childhood education, sport programs, activism, and connecting survivors with incredible lawyers like Amal, who have used evidence they have gathered to put a member of the homicidal Janjweed militia on trial. <laughs> their stories are familiar to me, and so is their abiding hope for the world to see them, hear them, and help them rebuild the places and the communities they love. 